This video is meant for entertainment purposes only and is not meant to be taken as financial advice. Hi everyone, it's me, kind of googly, um, doing something different. I decided to start a separate channel for cryptocurrencies because I'm researching this stuff anyway. So I figured I might as well share what I find out with you. Um, I've been kind of out of the loop for about three years because I took a bit of a break from it. Um, mostly because a friend of mine ended up getting me into the stock market. Um, scroll down, I don't want you to see what's up there just yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, three years ago I got into um, cryptocurrencies. I was thinking, well, I, I did my research and I knew this was going to be the future. I knew this was going to be what... Um, you know, this is the future of money. This is this is money from the future. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I got into it and I signed up for Coinbase. I signed up for a Coinbase account like as soon as Coinbase launched. Like right away, I got an account, and uh, Coinbase actually gave me some money for it too. But initially, what I did was so. Um, I went on some website or something. This was actually from, I, I believe this was from a different wallet um, at one point. But anyway, uh, there was some website that was giving out free Bitcoin and I got in there and uh, they were just giving out a dollar's worth just to, you know, get you started um, and or 99 cents worth and just to get you started. And I decided, yeah, I kind of want a little Bitcoin to get started to see what happens. So. Let's see what this is worth. This was, this cost me nothing, absolutely nothing. So let's go to Google and <laughs> um, yeah, let's go to Google, type in Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So you just Google Bitcoin and you get this, you know, conversion right here. So three years ago, this was worth $1. So. Let's see what it's worth now. Well, obviously, you know, Bitcoin wasn't worth a dollar. Actually, back then it was worth like $400 or something like that. But three years ago, roughly three years ago, because it was um, actually February 1st, 2015, 15, 16, 17, 18, that's roughly three years. Um, at the time of this recording, I'm recording this on January 14th. So yeah, it's been about three years. Um, so. I, I got this free Bitcoin, this uh, free uh, amount of Bitcoin that was worth 99 cents at the time, and it's worth six. It's worth 62 dollars and 84 cents at the time of this recording. So that was 62 dollars and 84 cents. That whoops, <laughs> not that. <laughs> that okay. So yeah, it's 62 dollars and 84 cents. That was completely free cost me absolutely nothing just for going on to a website and uh, you know signing up for some free Bitcoin um, so I got that and let's see then uh, I opened my coinbase account and they gave me a free dollar they gave me a dollar's worth of Bitcoin just for opening an account so let's see what that's worth right now dollars worth of Bitcoin roughly three years ago this was February 3rd 2015 um, a dollar's worth back then. What is it worth now? It is worth $55.81. Um, $55.81 just for opening an account at Coinbase. Um, this is not... <laughs> this is not an advertisement for Coinbase, by the way. Uh, there's... there's I'm sure there's better ways of um, better wallets and better exchanges out there to invest in. Unfortunately, in the United States, we don't have a whole lot of options here um, because of our regulations, and like each state has its has different regulations, so um, it's a little more difficult to invest. In fact, in fact, um, when I got my first NXT, I actually bought that on eBay because I couldn't figure out how else to get it at the time, and I didn't know about Shapeshift. But anyway. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's see. Okay. So this cost me nothing. This was absolutely free and it's now worth $55 and 81 cents. Um, I'd also like to add that this 
video is meant for entertainment purposes only and is not intended for financial advice. This is, uh, this is just what I've learned, what has worked for me. I'm not a professional and I'm not saying that it will work for you. I'm just saying that this is what I did and this is what happened. Okay, so this was free and this one was free and then um so i had my account open and i started investing so same day i decided i'm going to yeah <laughs> I, I used to be a derp and uh i got uh, i had a chase bank account since then i left the banking industry well not complete well i have a credit union now instead of a bank but i mean you get the idea um no longer I'm no longer <laughs> I don't want to contribute to the big banks of the world anymore um, but anyway so I bought some more Bitcoin at the time it was worth $20 and what did $20 what did $20 buy you back then um, it was 0.8174293 Bitcoin and what is that worth now that is worth $1,109.66. Now, $10 worth, $10 worth three years ago, it's now worth over $1,000. So, um, I don't know why that popped out <laughs> of the other tabs, but anyway, um, that's what it's currently worth. And it was worth $10 back, well, actually this was $20, sorry. So $20 worth back then, now over $1,000. So there was that, and I did that a couple times. This one was for $10, This I did another one for $20, and you know, I did a couple things here and there, and um, I also, what I, what I also did was I, <laughs> I got scammed. I got scammed, and I was like, okay, well what happened was, I was like, I'm investing in this Bitcoin. I want to give back to the network. I want to help the network in some way. But I was like, you know, mining's not really practical for someone like me. I, you know, I don't have the money to like buy, you know, these fancy miners or anything. And I researched it quite a bit and considered the possibility of doing it. But then I was like, and if I would have done it, I would have probably made a decent amount if I had kept it at the time. You know, I mean, it's just, it's so difficult to compete with all the hash power that's out there. Um, so I decided that, well, I'll just do a cloud mining thing to kind of try to contribute to the, contribute to the network because I'm using the network, I'm investing in Bitcoin. Um, oh, and at the time, um, Bitcoin was the only thing that was available on, um, on Coinbase. Coinbase didn't offer Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash didn't even exist back then. Um, Ethereum wasn't a thing yet. Or, I mean, I don't, it wasn't on. <laughs> it was a thing. <laughs> but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't on, uh, it wasn't on Coinbase and Litecoin. Nothing, um, nothing but Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the only thing you could buy on Coinbase at that time. Uh, at least in Texas, anyway. So, Anyway, you know, I did a couple small transactions here and there just to see what would happen and just, you know, hold it long term. Um, I wanted to invest way more than what I did um, because I knew that this was the future. I knew that um, cryptocurrency was the future of finance. It was the future of money um, because, you know, why deal with a centralized currency that's controlled by a government when governments are very unstable? And um, when you can, you know, you can bet on something that's not centralized. I knew cryptocurrency was the future, but all I could invest in at the time was Bitcoin. I later found out ways to invest in other things like um, NXT and a few others, a few other ones. Um, but anyway, getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I did a couple, I mean, these were free. This was, I mean, these first two were completely free. Sorry. Um, these two here were completely free. And then I did a couple investments here and there. Sorry, I had to burp. I had to burp. <laughs> it was a requirement for my existence. <laughs> um, so anyway, 
Um, and then, you know, I just you know, invested a couple here, $10, $20, couple $20 here. And this one was the cloud mining thing that I decided to get into. I decided to get into some cloud mining. I threw some cash in it, at it. I think I may have, I, I probably bought the contracts with Bitcoin and um, I ended up buying three five-year contracts, which should still be going right now, except for... Um, something happened either the website was a scam or they went out of business or i don't know some other random thing happened um maybe they maybe they moved their website to somewhere else i don't know but it was i think it was called cloudmining.io or something i don't remember don't quote me on that i don't remember what it was and i since deleted the the, the bookmark that i had for it because yeah eh, i'm good <laughs> so Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I, and this is what I got from that. Um, actually, what this was actually way less than that um, because, like, I transferred this because this was in my Hive wallet. I had a Hive wallet because I was like, oh, cool, I could get Litecoin too, and you know, I could get these other things. I don't have, I'm not stuck with just Bitcoin because at the time, Coinbase just had Bitcoin. That was it, that's all Coinbase did. And uh, I was like, well, I could get some other stuff. And they were like talking about, you know, adding more coins and stuff. And now, you know, Exodus is probably a better uh, wallet instead of, well, Hive wallet doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> and uh, that's why actually this was like right when they were, you know, closing Hive wallet. So it's like, I better get my cash out of there. <laughs> better get my Bitcoin out of there before it's too late. So I transferred all of it. To coinbase and at the time that i transferred it it was worth this much um it has since gone up since then um but yeah it was worth way less when i actually got paid from the cloud mining uh company or, or scam may have been a scam i'm kind of feeling like it was a scam um so yeah anyway what is this worth now what i made off of this at the time I lost money, I was scammed. It was it was not not good for me whatsoever. But what is it worth now? It is worth over $5,000. Over $5,000. I made over $5,000 on a scam. <laughs> so, because I didn't I, I didn't cash it out. Um, at the time it was a scam. I lost money. Um, or at least I'm assuming it's a scam because I don't know where they are. I mean, if they moved their website somewhere else, I eh, kind of would have hoped that they sent me an email on that. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, I made five, over $5,000 off of that. And then, um, but yeah, I, I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know I, was, I didn't know what that was worth. And with the time that I transferred, it was only worth $265.44. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I decided that, uh, I was just gonna hold off. I was just gonna, like, you know, just let it sit, let it ride, see what happens. And, uh, yeah, just see what happens. Um, I knew it was the future. I knew it was gonna go up in value. I just didn't know when. I knew it was going to increase in value. I didn't know when, and I didn't want to watch it because like my friend was constantly telling me, you know, it's a scam, cryptocurrency, it's a scam. People can just make more Bitcoins. And that's not true. <laughs> he didn't know anything about it. He didn't do his research. I did. I knew better, but I listened to him anyway. Yeah, my bad. I messed up because if I would have invested as much as what I wanted to invest initially, I'd be a millionaire right now. But um, I screwed up, but you know, hindsight's 2020, right? But I knew it was going to go up in value. So I just kind of tried to forget about it. I didn't forget about it. It was always kind of in the back of my mind. And then, uh, people just kept telling me about this Bitcoin stuff. I, I completely left the whole cryptocurrency community. Didn't keep up with anything. Didn't research anything because I didn't want to be persuaded to just um, get out of this. What I, what I ended up doing was I ended up getting into the stock market and I actually learned a lot about the stock market, learned about options, learned about how to make a living off of, um, just selling options. Um, yeah, you can make a living off of just very little bit, of, very little bits of, well, okay, maybe not little bits of money. If you consider 20, $30,000, little bits of money, then maybe if you're wealthy enough to consider those small amounts, 
Um, but uh, yeah, that's a completely different topic. I might cover that in a later video, although that's the stock market, not necessarily related to cryptocurrency. But anyway, so, okay, let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's calculate my original investment. Let's bring this up. Okay, so I'm not gonna count these two right here because those were free, didn't cost me anything at all. But uh, let's look at, you know, everything after that. So we have a $20 here, um, $20 plus $10 plus $20 plus $20. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then this one here, um, plus um, 265.44, that's, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. So my initial investment was $335.44 and I ended up selling. Um, so I got on here and uh, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So I got on here and after a three year break, I got on and I'll show you a picture. I'll show you a, a picture that I took. I was really excited. Um, I just wanted to see what it was worth because like I heard a lot of people talking about Bitcoin and how it's went up in value. I was thinking, okay, it went up a little bit maybe, but <laughs> I mean, I didn't invest that much to begin with. So I was like, yeah, I'm not worried about it. And then I just kept hearing people talking and talking about it. And I'm just like, okay, maybe I should check to see what it's worth. And I, I saw this <laughs> like, oh my God, I got to cash that out. <laughs> <laughs> but the max that I could cash out at the time was only $10,000 worth. So I cashed out $10,000 worth. <laughs> um, but, you know, of course, Coinbase had to take their share because, you know, Coinbase, um, <laughs> they're an exchange. They got to make money. Um, so, you know, they took their share. So like my actual take home was 1,000, uh, was, yeah, 1,000. Yeah, it totally looks like 1,000. $9,851. That was my, my, my whole take home right there. Uh, but anyway, that's how I made um, $10,000 off of an investment of, or if we're, if we're being picky here, it's how I made $9,851 off of an investment of $35.44. Now, if I actually, let's, let's go ahead and subtract that amount. Let's say, okay, so $9,851 subtract, um, Subtract uh, 335.44. So I made $9,515.56. I actually, this is this is what I cashed out. This is what I took home. This was this was my profit. At the end of the day, this was my profit because I'm not counting. I actually made more than this. I actually made a lot more than this. Um, Bitcoin cash got added to Coinbase and I got all of that money because it was before I cashed out that the, the, the blockchain split before I cashed out so then I got all of that and but I reinvested all of that so I don't have any more Bitcoin cash and I bought some Ethereum but as far as like actual cash actual cash that I cashed out um, that's what I made so um, yeah, let me know what you think about this video. Like it if you've liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. If you want to watch more videos from me, if you want to be notified when uh, I put out a new video, plan on doing this a lot. Um, I, I, I want to do the research. I want to research these new, these new cryptos that have been, been released since I've been asleep for three years, apparently. Um, and uh, I'm doing the research anyway, so I might as well share that experience with you. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, go, go down the list for a little bit and try and get a feel or better understanding or just, you know, re-educate myself on, you know, maybe even just research Bitcoin again and blockchain and share that information with you, what I've learned, um, where I was able to find information on it, what people were talking about it, what's in the news, what, what are people talking about?
What are they saying about Bitcoin? What's Warren Buffett saying about Bitcoin? <laughs> um, and you know, this is just, you know, my personal opinion and what I've researched and found out on my own and what I've done and what has worked for me. Um, this is not intended for financial advice. This is meant for entertainment purposes only. But yeah, follow me, like me, subscribe to me, get that notification bell hit, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.